Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the new Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Gel Touch Foundation and this is the cushion foundation that has recently been released by Chanel. I've been wearing this foundation over the past two months and I have to say that I really really like it. So today I'm going to give you my thoughts on that, I'm going to show you how it applies and I'm going to compare it to other Chanel foundations that I own. This foundation retails for £60.43 in the UK which makes it quite an investment even for a Chanel foundation, especially having in mind that one of the most famous Chanel foundations, the Vitalumia Aqua, retails for £34, so there is a significant difference in the price. Inside there is a nice mirror and what's interesting about this new foundation is that instead of a cushion, the product actually comes out from a mesh, which is very squishy. I was very surprised when I first opened it, but I definitely like it because I find that it keeps the foundation very fresh and actually prevents it from drying. From my personal experience, I find that once you open a cushion foundation, it starts to dry out pretty fast. I like the mesh because it helps to easily get the right amount of product. As you can see, I have no foundation on right now and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see. how my skin looks like before and after and I'm going to be applying this foundation with the sponge that comes inside this is number 20 by the way and as you can see it's quite pale the shades are not completely the same like the Vita Lumia Aqua or the Perfection Lumia. Um, this shade to number 20 is somewhere in between 10 and 20 of the Vita Lumia Aqua. I have to say that this foundation is very very pleasant when you apply it, it feels very cooling and very, very refreshing on the skin. Now I did apply powder to my face and what I really like about this foundation is that it is very very lightweight, you cannot feel it on the skin, you cannot see it on the skin. I think this is the perfect everyday foundation for those of you who have normal to slightly dry skin or dehydrated skin or dry skin just because the hyaluronic acid somehow helps to keep your skin hydrated and really well moisturized throughout the day but at the same time it really offers a good amount of coverage so if you don't have any major redness or scars that you want to cover up this is a great foundation especially if your skin is dry as I said um, you can easily build this one and you can easily uh, get a really decent amount of coverage by applying a couple of layers of this foundation and it is invisible in the skin so this is something that I like the, the most about this foundation that is really invisible on the skin. After application your skin just looks very very moisturized, very well rested so if you like the, the glowy uh, healthy looking skin. This is definitely a foundation to check out. I can compare this one to the Vitalumia Aqua because the coverage is um, similar to the Vitalumia. I think the Vitalumia has a little bit more cover coverage but this uh, might be just me. Other than that they are I think they're very similar but this one is suitable for all skin types. I find that this one works perfectly um, even on oily skin it looks great and it looks very natural whereas this one is really really illuminating. The downside of this foundation is definitely the price. I don't think that I can justify paying that uh, price for this foundation also because keep in mind that cushion foundations usually run out a lot faster than the liquid foundations so if I had to choose um, to own just one foundation from Chanel, 
this was definitely not going to be my first choice just because Chanel have a great range of beautiful foundations. Also keep in mind that there is this foundation, the liquid foundation from Le Beige range, which is great by the way. And it's a little bit less illuminating than this one. So if you have never tried a cushion foundation so far I would definitely not recommend starting out with this one because you might not like it but trying something a little bit more cheaper so this one is similar to the L'Oreal cushion so I'm going to zoom in one last time so that you can see how my skin looks now that I have the powder on Alright, finally I just wanted to talk a little bit about the shades of this foundation. If you're used to Chanel foundations and if you have the Vita Lumia Aqua or the Perfection Lumia foundations, uh, keep in mind that the shades of the cushion go a little bit lighter and I'm going to show you what I mean right now. I have number 20. When I wear the Vita Lumia Aqua, I'm usually going to be somewhere in between number 10 and 20. But with the cushion, I'm wearing number 20 and this is the perfect color. So keep in mind if you're using the Vita Lumia Aqua or the Perfection Lumia that this foundation is somewhere in between 10 and 20. The number 20 of this foundation is somewhere in between uh, 10 and 20. I'm going to show you now. So here this is number 20 of the Vita Lumia Aqua and this is a swatch of number 20 of the Cushion Foundation. So as you can see uh, the shades are quite different. This is a little bit more red. Uh, it has a little bit more red undertone whereas this one has a little bit yellow undertone and also this one is a lot paler so keep that in mind uh, you might want to go a shade darker with this one actually this applies to the whole Le Beige range keep in mind that also the liquid foundation Le Beige is a little bit a little bit uh, paler lighter in color than the Vita Lumia Aqua or the Perfection Lumia so these two have the same shade so this one here is number 20 of the Le Beige Liquid Foundation. This is number 20 of the Vita Lumia Aqua and this is a swatch of number 20 of Le Beige The Cushion. So all in all I have to say that I really really like this foundation. It's a very lightweight, very comfortable foundation. It feels great on the skin, it doesn't feel heavy, it feels like nothing on the skin, it's easily buildable, you can easily apply a couple of layers and nobody is going to see that you're wearing foundation, it's not going to emphasize pores, it is hydrating and I think that it is a perfect option for those of you who have dehydrated or tired skin, it's really beautiful brightening foundation. I'm definitely going to repurchase this and I'm going to wear this as an everyday foundation during the winter and during the fall. I'm going to skip this during the summer just because my skin tends to get a little bit oily and I would prefer something that's a little bit more mattifying. So I think that's all that I have for today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer you. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me thumbs up if you liked this video and if it was useful for you and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!